Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about Amazon Comprehend. So it's a part of the same series, AI uh, services provided by the AWS. So we'll be discussing under extract and data anal analysis, Amazon Comprehend. So what it is and how we can utilize it, I'll be showing you a demo for it. Again, uh, I'll be creating a customized model for this and we'll be uploading our own data. So basically it is used to uh, get the insights from the text. Basically it uses a text extract, a combination of it, and then it finds out the entities, key phrases, uh, sentiments, any P2 data, document classification, topics, a language, what language is being used, and the syntax. So you can integrate with the email, chat, uh, social media, phone calls, and many more possibilities. So you can have a real-time analysis also, or we can have a scheduled job also, we can have it. So how does it work? So this is how it works. We can have a email, chat, and phone calls. We can keep it in S3, then comprehend along with the text extract. It will extract those details and do the analysis. And then we can have a redshift and all, or we can have the same another S3 bucket in which we can have the output in the form of a JSON, or we can just review the on the, like in the output, we can extract the values, which values to be shown. So REST API calls also, we can make it. So let's move ahead to the, so this is a basic functionality. So I will show you, so this is a part of automated data extraction analysis. So this one, we I have already created a video. You can just have a look into it. How does this Amazon text extract works? And today we are going to discuss with uh, unstructured data with natural language processing in order to acquire the ins insights using Amazon Comprehend. So if you see over here, these are the uh, like things that we can have from a simple document or pictures or PDF depending upon your business needs you can classify the document like suppose you are receiving uh, multiple documents you can classify whether it's an uh, invoice for some product or it is like a bills or different different categories you can maintain it you can basically do the classification of documents or you can forward it accordingly or you can extract the information from that particular document accordingly after the classification so there are many use cases are there like uh, business and call center analytics. We can also have an index and in searching the product reviews. We can also do this, then uh, any legal briefs for the management and also the processing some financial documents depending upon it's like, you know, the relationship, like, like a simple example, like insurance claim. So multiple documents are there, checking the validity of the document, checking whether the required documents were being provided like a form or some, uh, identification like a passport and all was being provided or not or any mortgage packages so these kind of things can be done very efficiently in the financial documents so these are the different use cases are there so i will just go directly to this uh, screen over here amazon comprehend so you can see over here there are two options on the top so if you go over here you will find it over over here so launch so you can see here we are amazon comprehend and once you click on the launch you can directly reach over here also so the very first thing is real-time analysis so in this uh, real-time analysis we can put a text uh, and we can utilize the built-in models in order to extract uh, various information so you can see as yes, uh, we have over here real-time analysis with the built-in models and you can see input data. So this is the data. We can also put some custom data over here and we can select the model type, but in order to use a custom, we have to create a model first. So I will show you later on. So you can see over here, built it, and this is the sample data over here. If I click on the analyze over here, you will get the insight results over here. You can see analyze text over here, entity that is highlighting, then key phrases, language, you can see the results down here, how much confidence and all. Then uh, any P2 data, that is a mobile number and all, you can see 
it is showing you over here in the bottom. So you can see mass data is there under the entity. So it very efficiently it picks up like uh, extract the data and do the analysis. So you can see sentiments, how much neutral, positive, and what is the negative confidence. Even you can see over here, application integration. So for calling this service, you can utilize like this. So for each aspect over here, insights, they have given you how we can call it. And you can see over here, the details over here, like this also. So syntax, so this is the syntax over here. Pronoun, proper noun, punctuation, verb and all. You can get the details over here. So this is all uh, like a, a real-time analysis that we have, but we are going to, to be focused upon this custom. So before that, better create one S3 bucket. So once you create S3 bucket, create two folders, one for the output and one for the training data that you are going to provide to the model and as well as the different annotations that you're going to provide to the model on the basis of which it will do the uh, categorization or classification of the documents. So this is my folder, comprehend. If you don't have a bucket, you can create S3 bucket. And this is my training data. So if you see in the comprehend, I will show you what are the things I have kept it over here. So these are the files that I have kept it over here. So basically, um, I have few supermarket invoices like this. So these are the few. So make it sure you have at least for each use case, each class, you should have minimum 10 images, minimum 10, 10 uh, images you need to provide. Otherwise it will keep on giving you failure. So you need to, you need to make sure there are 10, 10 images of each uh, annotations that you have defined over here. Now, if you see, this is, I'm having another healthcare medical bill. So this is just randomly, I have put it over here. So it can be image, it can be a JPG, PNG, or it can be a PDF, it can be a Word document. Next, we have to prepare one CSV over here. So these things, you have to keep it in a S3 bucket. So you can see, so this is basically uh, the class and in which image that one is. So these are the namings over here. So like this, we have to provide with a comma separated value. So make it sure in the last, you don't put any extra cursor over there, otherwise it will keep on giving error with the empty field. So I struggle a lot in order to get the model trained, but at, at, at in the end, I was able to like model my, uh, train my model. So these are the files that I've already uploaded in the S3 bucket. So let's go to the comprehend over here. So, already there. Okay, we will create a new one. The so create new model. So my classifier demo. Now version, you can keep it blank, but next time if you want to run it, you need to mention it. Now these are the annotation and data format. You can see I'll choose over here native documents and the details I'm providing in the CSV file. So if you see over here, how does the label mode work? So this is the uh, example given over here, one class. Okay, let me close this one. So there is one class and one the document. So no need of putting one, two over here, how many instances are there. So no need of using this, just uh, you can, I showed you the CSV file, you just need to put the class name and the document name. Now the next thing is we need to choose our S3 bucket where you have the annotation, the CSV file. So we will choose our bucket over here. And we can keep it separate location, but anyhow, it's fine. Then next. The next is basically the location where you have kept your images. Okay, I will just choose a way. You need to provide the root directory, not any particular single image. So I just remove that one. 
Okay, rest of the things. And if any role is required for this, you need to create the role. And rest of the things, you keep it uh, normal over here, advanced input and all. And this is where you want to save your output data. So I have created another folder within the same bucket with the name training data or output, whatever you want to mention, you can just mention like this, just choose. So I'll just keep it in the root. Okay, now this is the I am role. So you can choose if you have, if you haven't created, you can just create a new I am role. I have already created. It's just nothing. You just need to click on the create and new uh, an I am role. It will automatically create, giving permissions to the S3 bucket to your models to access the files. Then you hit the create button over here. Now, depending upon the file size and all, it may take around like uh, minimum 20 to 30 minutes. So once your uh, once your model is running, then we will go ahead with the endpoints. So basically endpoints will be there to make your custom models available for the like, uh, you know, real time classification. So you can provide it. So you can give the path to it, like where my files are. So it will do the analysis. So this is a, like a paid one. So we will just create once our model is ready. Even if I click on the create endpoint, I won't be able to choose over here because I don't have any custom uh, model ready yet. So once my model is ready, then we can work on it. Then uh, there is a new thing that is the flywheels. So basically we can also create the flywheels for the model training. There is a new thing added over here, flywheels. So this is for training for the custom models. So we can provide the data and then we can evaluate, train the new versions and all. So no need of like uh, doing it manually every time. So we can automate this process. So that is the flywheels. So this is for training the model versions for your custom models. So I'll go back to the classification over here. So you can see it is being submitted. It will go into tra uh, training mode, then it will get uh, into a running mode. So once this one is done, then I will show you what to create next. Like we have to create an endpoint, then we have to test also. So I'll get back to you. Okay, now you can see over here, our model has been trained over here. So once you click over here, so this is our model. So you can see the F1 score one. So there's no version over here. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to use the flywheel, you can use the flywheel to train your model. Now, the next thing is uh, endpoints over here. So we have to create an endpoint in order to use the real-time analysis. So I will create over here my endpoint. This will also take like around 10 to 15 minutes. So custom, you can see our model is shown over here. Version, nothing is there. And we can just choose this one by default and here, number of interference units. So it is like a single interference unit can like analyze hundreds of characters per second. So default is 10, I don't want to go for the 10. So I'll just keep it one because you can see the pricing over here. So estimated hourly cost, it is $1.8. And if it is a daily cost, $43. So I don't want to go for such a high cost. So I'll just create with this one only one unit only. So it will take some time in order to create our endpoint. You can see it's creating our endpoint. Once our endpoint is created, we will go to the real time analysis over here. So here we will choose over here custom and we will select our custom classification and you can see the endpoint is still disabled. So once we get our endpoint, then only we I can show you the example. So we have to wait for this one to be created. You can see it's still in the creating mode. So we will just wait for five to 10 minutes, then I will show you. Okay, so you can see over here, my endpoint has been created with the for the model, my classified demo, and you can see it has been active. Now I will go to the 
you can either go to the analysis job and all you can create a job or you can go ahead with a real time analysis so i'll just show you with the real time analysis over here so here i'm going to choose over here custom and custom classification you can see the endpoint is showing up now and you can put some input text or you can just upload a file so i will prefer using uploading a file so I will just go to this one. Let's put it over here. Some, let's say you put this one, some hospital. So let's do the analysis over here. So it is analyzing the document. So you can just write the whole. So you can see over here, classes, health, and confidence is one. And you can also get the API integration or application integration over here. So you can see this is how you will be sending the request with the file. And here classes, name, health, score one, page one, and the items zero. We didn't get anything in like, a, so two uh, classes were there. One was health, one was items. We got one document. So this is how we are going to classify the data so you can see how many characters were read what type it is the image so this is how all details will be getting so this is how you can you know like you can do the classification of your documents in the real time scenarios so this is a, one of the example like how we can create our own custom classification model we can train it with our uh, type of documents whichever we want then we create an endpoint and then we can utilize the endpoint to provide the data in order to do the analysis. So I hope I was able to explain this Amazon Comprehend. Uh, please do give a try to it, how we can do this real-time analysis. By default, uh, you can utilize a normal analysis and analysis jobs and all, but try to do with some uh, customization of the model, try to train the model with some sample data and then see how it is going to analyze the data. So this was just a very small example. So just I use 10, 10 images of both the classes for the hospital and the, um, like a Walmart bill or something like that, what are the items are there. So this is how we can do the analysis. So that's all for this Amazon Comprehend. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.